Welcome back, everybody, to the full 90. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Champions League. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you for 17,600 subscribers. The support on the channel has been awesome. If you don't want to miss any future videos, please click the subscribe button down below for all things football, Premier League, Champions League related. This is the place to be. Quick little weekend ACA check. We had three winning bets this weekend and I thought they were all very, very impressive. I was in fact one goal away from a £65,000 mega accumulator win. Somehow, Feyenoord didn't win their game with stats like this. If they won that game, all I needed was one more goal and I would have won £65,000 on the Mega Accumulator, but sadly, it wasn't to be. Now, I did have a thought. On YouTube, you can enable channel memberships. You know, you see on channels, there's the little join button. I figured that might be a cool thing to do if I enabled the join button, and then I could do member-only posts for people that join the community on the channel with tips and stuff like that here on YouTube on this channel, because I've done tips over on TikTok, but I understand it's hard to get people to go from one place to another so let me know down in the comments as well as your champions league predictions if you'd be interested in the idea of like say for five pounds a month getting weekly tips and stuff exclusively for members of the full 90 channel let me know i thought that could be quite cool but yes it is time for the week three of the champions league i'm very very excited i love the champions league you love the champions league last time out we had four exact scores bayern to beat dynamo kiev 5-0 salzburg to beat lille 2-1 man united to beat villarreal 2-1 even though i don't think they really deserve that win and Wolfsburg and Sevilla to draw 1-1. So let's get straight into the week three games, kicking it off with Besiktas up against Sporting. I would say out of the two teams, I'd probably say Sporting are the better team. And I think at home, I'd probably give Sporting a 1-0 win or something like that. This could be crazy high scoring, but I'm going to keep it fairly subdued. I do think both teams will score. I'm going to sit on the fence and go for a 1-1 draw between these two teams here. Next up, it is Club Bruges up against Manchester City. Club Bruges coming off of a phenomenal win in the previous game week and Man City losing last time out to PSG. This is a very important game for Manchester City to win. I was going in between two scores thinking 3-1 City or 2-0 City and I've decided to go with 2-0 to Manchester City. I think their defence in recent times has just been so so good and like when they beat Burnley 2-0. I myself even predicted it would be more goals than that and uh, I actually think their defence is really one of their strong points now and I don't think Club Bruges will be able to break through that despite good performances coming into this game so I'm going to go for the 2-0 win to Manchester City. Now next up it is Ajax up against Borussia Dortmund and I I think there is so much value in this game, by the way. I know I'm not doing individual tips on each game in the Champions League, but Borussia Dortmund double chance at 1.6. That seems unreal because Ajax are not the team that they were a couple of years ago and Borussia Dortmund have won every single game they've played against Ajax. Three in the past, albeit 10 or so years ago, but Borussia Dortmund have only ever tasted victory against Ajax and they're looking very, very good lately. Erling Haaland is back from injury with a brace on the weekend, winning 3-1. I believe it was against Manch, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go for a high scoring Borussia Dortmund win 3-2 to Dortmund and I do think Erling Haaland is going to score again at least once. So Borussia Dortmund Dortmund double chance or draw no bet is probably around about evens with value of three for Borussia Dortmund to win. I think that's something to look into there. Next up, we have Atletico Madrid up against Liverpool. I think this is another game chocked full of value. Atletico Madrid, they do have an astonishing home record at the Wanda Metropolitano and Luis Suarez is as good as he's ever been. He's playing very, very well and I do think I could see Luis Suarez getting on the score sheet against Liverpool. However, I don't see Liverpool not winning this game. They are phenomenal in the Champions League and they do welcome back Alisson and Fabinho I believe after their break due to the South American uh, World Cup qualifiers so they're only going to get stronger from the team that absolutely dismantled Watford 5-0 on the weekend so I'm gonna go for a 2-1 away win to Liverpool I think this is going to be a very ent entertaining game I do think Madrid could win this like I said their home record is phenomenal I think Liverpool would be happy with a draw I think Atletico Madrid would probably be happy with a draw but Liverpool just look very similar to when they a few years ago when they went on that unbeaten run they looked unstoppable they're looking very much like that now so i'm gonna go for a 2-1 win to liverpool now next up it is fc porto against ac milan ac milan also looking very very good second currently in syria behind the undefeated napoli ac milan 2-0 down at the weekend coming back to win 3-2 which if you saw the eagle-eyed viewers of you would have seen it that helped my accumulator over the weekend i think ac milan are also very good value 
for this game. AC Milan double chance is another really safe shout. I think Porto, they are very, very good at home. It does have to be said that AC Milan are just slightly better. I think they're just slightly better and they were unfortunate to lose against Atletico Madrid in the previous game week. So I'm going to go for another 2-1, 2-1 to AC Milan. After that, we have Inter Milan up against front runners Sheriff Tiraspol. Oh my goodness, what a story this has been so far. And I, <laughs> I'd love to see Sheriff win again. I really, really would. But the buck stops here. Inter Milan have seen what Sheriff did to Shakhtar and Real Madrid. And they, they, they won't be fooled. It won't happen again. As much as I would love it to happen again, it won't happen again. Sheriff, I think, can score. And I think they will score. Inter Milan, they do let in the odd goal here and there. They don't keep clean sheets as often as I'm sure Inter Milan would like. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Inter. I think Inter have been looking good this season overall. And while Sheriff have done amazingly in the Champions League so far, I think those first two game weeks are only going to alert Inter Milan to the potential dangers more. So the shock factor isn't necessarily there anymore. They won't be underestimated and Inter Milan will claim the home win. After this, we have PSG up against RB Leipzig. Leipzig having a pretty poor time of it at the moment. Not doing well this season at all, certainly by their standards. And PSG, they are doing very well this season. They managed to get a late 2-1 win uh, at the weekend, even though Lionel Messi wasn't playing. He will be back in the fray for this game. And I think PSG are going to win this one. I'd expect Leipzig to score because PSG do tend to concede at at the back so i'm gonna go for a 3-1 win to psg and i think mbappe will inevitably get on the score sheet again perhaps a messy assist that could be quite interesting now after this we have a very very intriguing game shakhtar donetsk up against real madrid shakhtar doing the double over real madrid last season and real madrid in topsy-turvy form however i do think the quality of real madrid will shine through i was tempted to go for a 1-1 draw here i certainly think shakhtar donetsk are going to score yes they've had low scoring games against inter milan but real madrid are better than that and i do think with the likes of benzema on the form that he is real madrid are going to score i think benzema is going to score and i'm going to go for a 2-1 win to real madrid but i think they're not great value for the win they're, they're very clearly the favorites in terms of value but shakhtar donetsk they could provide some sort of upset here. So I would err on the side of caution with that one, but I am going to go for a 2-1 Real Madrid win uh, for that game. Now, I believe we move on to the Wednesday fixtures. It is going to be Barcelona up against Dynamo Kiev. Barcelona claiming a 3-1 win against Valencia at the weekend. Again, helping out my little double of Juve to win and Barcelona to win with both teams to score. And Sufati back again, back on the score sheet once again. Philip Coutinho as well. Barcelona starting to look like they're... They're sorting things out a little bit. Obviously, things are still not looking great over there. But certainly, at Camp Nou, in this fixture, they're going to beat Dynamo Kiev. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 win because I do not trust that back line to keep a clean sheet. After that, we have FC Salzburg up against Wolfsburg. And I believe, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Wolfsburg and FC Salzburg were both teams I correctly predicted the exact score of in the previous game week. So I reckon this could be another correct score prediction here. Salzburg, they play very exciting football, as do Wolfsburg. But away from home, I don't think they're quite going to be able to keep up with Salzburg in the same way I predicted Lille to lose 2-1 to Salzburg. I'm going to predict a 2-1 win to Salzburg here again. Now, after this, we have Benfica up against Bayern Munich. Benfica coming off of a 3-0 win against Barcelona in the Champions League. Bayern Munich, 5-0 in the Champions League, and they just beat Bayer Leverkusen 5 goals to 1. 4 goals in like 7 or 8 minutes in the first half. 5-0 up at half time. They look phenomenal. Lewandowski brace, Gnabry brace, and Müller, of course, on the score sheet as well. Bayern Munich are going to win this game. I think Benfica will score at home. I'm going to go for a 4-1 win to the Bavarians in this fixture to just continue their outrageous form. They look phenomenal this season. Leroy Sane, albeit not on the score sheet, looked very, very good. He was pulling the strings and he looked amazing as well. Now, after that, we have Chelsea up against Malmö. And I think this will be a routine win for Chelsea, let's be real. Stay away from this game when it comes to betting, to be honest. When you want a correct score, it's a matter of how many Chelsea will score, and that is quite tricky to predict. In terms of winning, even a minus two handicap is less than evens for Chelsea in this fixture. So I'm going to go for the 3-0 win. I think Lukaku will probably score. This game is tailor-made for him. Uh, maybe Werner will score as well, you know? So I think Chelsea are going to win this one comfortably. I'm going to go 3-0, and we're not going to delay any further in moving on to Lille up against Sevilla. Sevilla, they look well-priced to win this game. The value looks good to me. I think it's going to be low-scoring. Lille, you could argue, slightly out of their depth with the way they've been performing this season. Sevilla are European 
veterans. I think they look good enough to win this game. I'm going to keep it low scoring. Perhaps 0-0 halftime, then 1-0 full time. It's going to be the 1-0 win to Sevilla. After that, Manchester United up against Villarreal. United in the mud. Leicester beating them four goals to two. Atalanta running out 4-1 winners against Empoli in the week at the weekend. I think this is going to be a, a high scoring, entertaining game, obviously. Ideally at Old Trafford, Man United would like to take a little bit more control of this fixture, but a team like Atalanta are not going to allow that. Uh, Zapata looks good. I think they are going to score a couple of goals. I don't see them going to Old Trafford and winning. I think that would be far too disastrous for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer if they were to lose this game. However, I, I can't predict them to win this game given how they've looked in recent fixtures. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. That is a game I will without a doubt be watching with eagle eyes. I think that that's going to be very, very exciting. Now, next up, we have Young Boys up against Villarreal. Villarreal surprise loss to Osasuna 2-1 in La Liga. However, I do think Villarreal are a very, very good side. Young Boys also obviously beating Manchester United already in the Champions League this season at home. They play on that weird artificial astro type pitch uh, which maybe favors them because they're perhaps more used to it but i can see this being a very close very tight contest both teams will have their chances i think it will be a game of missed chances i think both teams will have had a chance in the game to take the full three points but both will fail and i'm gonna go for the one one draw now the final game it's zenit st petersburg up against juventus juventus they managed to get a really really good win against roma one goal to nil again i predicted it moist keen on the score sheet early in the first half and then the defensive duties are uh, doing their part to keep a clean sheet as well and i do see it going very similar in this fixture i initially predicted a 1-0 win to juventus however over the full 90 minutes i think juventus will get a couple more chances than that so i'm going to go for a fairly simple straightforward 2-0 win to Juve to, to really take control of this group in the Champions League. So that just about does it for my week three predictions. Like I said, be sure to let me know down in the comments your predictions as well, and also your thoughts on the channel memberships for the full 90, if that's something you'd be interested in. If not, I don't have to do it, but if you were interested in that, then be sure to let me know. Leave a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for the support as always, and I will see you in the next video for some Premier League predictions in a few days.